What's happening now across the Niagara frontier? News stories, old stories, stuff you know about and stuff you'd never believe. It's the Niagara Hub Soapbox with Craig Avery. Well, here we are. Another week has gone by. We have uh, lots of political activity uh, yeah. around the city and so forth. We have Vincentello, our former mayor, and uh, and a political analyst, as they yeah, call him yeah. on, on TV here. Yeah. But it's kind of fun to just uh, give us a little update, some of the thoughts, some of the ideas that have, have surfaced since the, the debates that were the other night sponsored by the Niagara Gazette uh, at Antonio's. Um, I would say there was 150 people there. Oh, you? yeah, definitely, definitely. And, and I, I really, you know, I publicly want to thank the Gazette for doing it because, you know, I've been involved in politics a long time, and I think this this was one of the better uh, candidates forums or debates because they really don't turn out to be debates and really the way uh, uh, Mr. Pfeiffer handled the questions uh, you couldn't make it a debate because uh, just uh, uh, yeah just a cardinal starting his comments by saying Mayor Deister uh, you know, Pfeiffer stopped him dead on his tracks. Yeah, dead on his tracks, and and uh, and uh, a cardinal was prepared uh, to make a point. You know, and uh, I think that threw him off a little bit. You know, but the point is well taken. Though, you know, it was mm -hmm. about the letter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that he called the letter of apology. And, yeah, uh, yeah. He yeah. started right out with the. Yeah. With the, well, let's let's start with the, the council candidates, and yeah. and uh, you know certainly, um, you know they've got a. Well, I think Alicia Libel did a fantastic there. job, and so does, uh, did uh, uh, Ken, uh, you know, Ken Tompkins, you know, because they, they, they seem to at least understand, and I don't know if it's intuitive or not, but they seem to understand that the city is in, a, in financial trouble, and you need to rein in the expenses or at least control uh, the rate of increase every year. Right. You know, you had three people, you know, if you talk about the mayor's uh, uh, debate and the council debate, you have three people, three incumbents, you know, the mayor and two council members, okay, one is running for re-election, one is running for mayor, who actually know the truth about our finances, that we're in trouble. No one is willing to say it because the medicine is very, very tough medicine. So the three you're talking, uh, Mayor Deister. Would be Mayor Deister, Glenn Shalokin, and Bob Anderson, you know, and, and of course, you know, there was a big announcement uh, early in the, in the debate about uh, uh, Councilman Anderson having health issues, I mean, mm -hmm. serious, yeah. serious health yeah. issues. And, uh, you know, hopefully, you know, it goes well for him, but, uh, uh, you know, and uh, it, it just... The attitude is a medicine, he'll do fine. You yeah, know? yeah <laughs> right, right. He, yeah, I guess he had the best attitude. He didn't have a lot of information, <laughs> but he had the best, best attitude, you know. And, uh, uh, and certainly, I mean, the most confident person, I would have to say, on the mayor's debate was uh, uh, Glenn Shalokin, although I disagree with every point that he made, and I think I have the papers to prove it. Uh, I mean, his assertion that you would just grab another million dollars of casino money and hire 10 cops. Uh, where are you going to get this casino money? You're, you're already putting in 12 million of casino money for, to balance next year's budget. Now you're going to make it 13 million? Mm, yeah. I mean, exactly, does anybody understand that the casino is under pressure financially? You know, the, 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 the take is actually reducing. So mm -hmm. there's going to be four more private casinos. Uh, I believe it's east of Route 34. And right. and all the racetracks have been turned into casinos, which is the same as casino, but they don't want to call it a casino. You know, all these things are going to have a negative impact. Well, those quarters are going elsewhere. Right. And we're not getting 25% of what the state gets. I mean, we're getting 25%, but the, you know, the, the hole is smaller sure. and smaller. Sure. So uh, you can't think about this, uh, things like that from year to year or election to election. This has to be a 10-year a, a thought of saying, okay, let's see where we've been. Let's see where we are. And let those two bits of information show us where we may be going mm -hmm. and be realistic about the numbers. I mean, mm -hmm. if you look at budgets in the last few years, uh, the council has accepted uh, sales tax revenues to put in the budget. They weren't realized. Well, when are you going to learn your lesson that there's, that just because you 
you know, move the decibel point or, or, or add another zero or take a zero out doesn't change things. It doesn't change reality. Not that it doesn't change things. It doesn't change reality. You know? right. But, I, but I, I really appreciated the debate. I really did. Uh, you know, I thought it was well, uh, well done. Alicia did uh, well with this presentation. All the candidates seem to be sincere in what they believe. Mm -hmm. uh, certainly, I think uh, uh, Ezra Scott and uh, Willie Price. You know, I think they did a good job for being new. You know, new people in the, in mm -hmm. the political field. Uh, but you know, uh, Councilman Anderson, you know, did what he always does. You know, yeah. uh, so you know if. Uh, uh, if you if you were there to to have a few laughs, you know that that was good. I mean, he does that at council meetings. He does right. that at the right. coffee shops. You know, so that's that that's fine. That's his persona. Now, if if uh, of course the the, the you know, gorilla in the room or whatever they call it, uh, he certainly has some health issues. If he's unable to, if uh, let's assume he's elected, if he is elected, uh, if he's unable to complete his term. What is the process then? Is there another election? How does that? Well, the council would appoint, if it was before, you know, the, the council would appoint, and then at the first opportunity for another election, you know, there would be, you know, a, a permanent uh, a, a position to, for the remainder of the term. You so know, the you could council elect amongst but themselves, initially including, appoint, including Mr. Anderson, probably. Right. To, to right. If he, if he, if he uh, uh, decide to retire. That won't happen. He's, yeah. Uh, he's, yeah, to to to, to, to retire, fighter. but uh, the 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 fact uh, the fact is that uh, you know there's certainly uh, I, I'm sure that other people would have some influence on who the council would appoint. Mm -hmm. uh, for instance, uh, uh, I'm sure that the Democratic Party would have something to say. I'm sure that the people that supported the the runner-ups mm -hmm. in the election would want to have their voices heard. I'm sure the mayor. Would like you know like to have his voice heard because let's face it, would the mayor uh, take a chance at appointing somebody who's going to be his political enemy? No, you know not right. Okay, so so there'll be some backroom uh, dealing, but the but the public uh, view of that it would be that the council appoints the the person okay. to take over. So then in the mayoral, you know, obviously the big thing I believe is is the voter turnout. You know, what difference does it make who <laughs> understands what if, if people don't go out and vote? It doesn't matter. Right, and, and uh, I don't know about you, uh, uh, but do you, from the people that you, the circle of people that you uh, uh, deal with, do, do you recognize like uh, enthusiasm for this election or, or just just pessimism? I mean, what 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 do you see as the, the, the characteristic? I hang with that are more enthusiastic about fan duel right now and okay. picking their quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> under the salary cap, but um, yeah, see, I, I don't see the excitement, no. and, and and I think we're going to have probably between eight and nine thousand people turn out for the election, and and what's going to happen is if it rains, it'll be closer to eight thousand or maybe less. If it's a bad, you know, bad uh, weather, okay. If uh, if in the next uh, eighteen days, eighteen nineteen days, uh, the the candidates are able to generate some excitement. Uh, uh, certainly. I mean, let's face it, we were at the debate, and I know that every camp, you know, at least the ones that I talked to, I know they've been working because I see them in the neighborhoods knocking on doors. Mm -hmm. Did you recognize the fact that a lot of people in that room, and we said about 150 people, a lot of people in that room never seen some of the candidates? That was like their first time? Yeah. You know, see, and that's you know, and and that's and that's the see that's the problem, and that's going to factor in on on whether it's eight thousand closer to eight thousand or closer to nine thousand. I mean, I'd like to see more than nine thousand people vote, mm -hmm. but I I don't think that's going to happen because I just don't feel the energy. I mean, right. the campaigns used to be so much fun. Yeah. You know? Now, on the ballot, is it just the mayor and the council? There isn't any resolutions? There isn't anything else that anyone's voting well, for? Well, there might be some ba ballot... Uh, uh, a judge. The you know, but but in, in, this, uh, in Niagara Falls, what we would be involved with is the district attorney is running. Right. The county clerk is running, you know, that, that okay. position because right. the county clerk retired. Uh, you, we have here in the city of Niagara Falls, we have uh, city court judges, mm -hmm. two positions. We have uh, the, the legislators, county legislators, and we have the the, the city council, um, and uh, so it's an important election. I mean, uh, uh, 
it, and it's important to learn, you know, learn about the candidates. When, when you have a situation where people took the time to go to a debate and saw the candidates for the first time, I don't see that as a good sign of, 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 of energy, you know. Yeah. And, and, so I, I hope that, you know, 19 days, 18 days, I hope that uh, people really start learning about what they have to do. And, so and we've it, got Ricardo and, uh, and Mayor Deister. Right. You know, we've got Chalokian. Right. Not really on the outside, but right. under, explain to me this whole write-in thing here. How right. does it work? Has it worked in the past? Uh, What's, and as the, I, what's the, the mind thought here? What's and and I, as I said, uh, you know, he, he seemed like the most confident, although, uh, you know, from from understanding how government works, a lot of things he says, you see they're going to get us further in the financial hole or just can't be done, okay? Mm -hmm. But but he said it, but the other ones didn't dispute it, No. okay? So, you know, they're sitting there and, and they're saying, well, you know, Councilman Chilokin is wrong about putting another million dollars for, for police officers because we just don't have it. Right. Okay? Because you won't have it for economic development. But every single one of them mentioned economic development. How are you going to do economic development if you don't have any money to, 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 to incentivize right. economic development? I mean, see, people aren't asking those kind of questions. You just said this. How are you going to do this? Right. So you're going to cut, whether you like it or not, you're going to have to cut back on economic development first. They'll be the first one that will fail. Then it'll be, oh, we're going to have to do less demolitions this year. Oh, the mayor won't be able to say we did 250, 260 roads, okay? That's going to be less because you're going to have less income for you to be able to spend on those services, mm -hmm. you know? So on the right end, uh, I don't know. I don't... I don't see how it is possible to uh, get the, the machine that's necessary for the writing. And when I say machine, I'm talking about the political operatives. And here's the reason why. If you already know what having your name on the ballot, how hard you have to try to get people to vote, even your own people, even, your own, even people in your own committee to get out there and get, be enthusiastic. How enthusiastic are people going to be about a write-in? Can it be done? Yes, it's been done before. I've won, I've won write-in ballots, but not on a major party line, mm -hmm. on a, a minor party line. And what I did was, and this is a hint from Mr. Chalokian, uh, what I did was uh, I bought stamps, uh, rubber stamps, where you could stamp the name in. You have to write it in. You have to physically be in the machine and write it in. The, the stickers were rejected by the state uh, board of elections. So one of the things that he could look into is if a stamp works. Now what I did with my people was I had the people stand out there with, with a stamp, okay? And as people went to vote, he says, look, I want you to consider, you know, writing in Anello's name. If you're inclined to do that, here's a stamp. Just, just print the name right on the, on the ballot, okay? Now, the hardest job was trying to get the stamp back because you could only buy so many, <laughs> right? So now as the people are coming out, you're trying to think about who you gave the stamp to and try to grab that stamp back. So where's the machine to do that? It's like Ash Wednesday was got Yeah, right. So you got, you got a mark out here. You <laughs> yeah, know? voted. You yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? So, so what would happen is, you know, the, the, the ballot's a lot easier now because in those days you had to open up the little window up on top. Some of the old tallies couldn't reach the window, you know, to open it up. Yeah. You know, so it's no, a, it's a no. little tough, you know. So now it's, you know, the paper ballot is there. You should be a little more comfortable. So, yeah. Yes, uh, 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 Councilman Chilokin would be able to generate maybe more interest in that. You know, you go down to the bottom, and then, you know, it's been on Facebook. You go down to the bottom, and then you, you, you write the person's name in. Fine. How many people are actually going to do that? Okay. Now, the question is, okay, the people that write in the ballot for Councilman Chilokin, is that an anti-incumbent? vote? Is that a vote for Councilman Shalokin because they sincerely believe he can pull it off? Is, uh, is it a, a, an, an anti-establishment vote? You know, you know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. they're taking that extra, extra effort. Now, the votes that he gets, who do they affect negatively impact? Is it the mayor? Is it, the, uh, 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 is it a cardo? Uh, it's hard to tell. It's hard mm -hmm. to tell because you can't even do a poll on that because... No. I don't know. You know, people aren't going to tell you I'm going to write in. You know. And again, legally, they've been talking about the spelling. 
If it's spelled right. wrong, it doesn't count. Right, right. And, and and those ballots, I would imagine, would wind up in, a, in in court. And from past experience, I can tell you that if they if they put enough letters in there that uh, that would fit uh, Chilokin's name, I think the the judges would accept it. Okay. Uh, I've seen that happen. That's where Rick Smith would have had a, a, a right a heads up. Yeah, Jones Smith Brown would have. <laughs> now we've also. Uh, Facebook, from what I understand, is is touting the uh, write-in of Totes McGoats. And uh, I guarantee that the uh, Totes McGoats will will be uh, will be uh, uh, on the back. You know, probably have his name put in. And here's a here's a, the unbelievable now, do you part spelling of it. G O A T S, or I saw one from G O T E S, but I think yeah. that's just yeah. Niagara Falls not knowing spelling. Right, spell this there. language here. But uh, what's interesting here is that uh, Councilman Chilokin could impact, will impact, uh, Mayor Steister's numbers and, uh, and Accardo's numbers. Goats, you know, goat and the goats, totes and the goats, totes and the goats <laughs> will impact Councilman Shalokian's numbers. Because if you're going to take the time to write in, yeah. and you write in goat and the goat, Right. Or told me go that. Right. See, I, I would my my writing would fail because I keep saying it wrong. Nah. <laughs> it said, told me go. Remember that spelling, folks. <laughs> but uh, wow. uh, but that's that's you know, the, really that's the only one that that it would impact. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, because if you take the you know if you feel like you're gonna write in a vote, you're either gonna write in uh, Councilman Shulkin's name or me right? And uh, told. Told me go. All right. <laughs> All right. So I'll tell you that that one is that. gonna. I guess that's taking the universe by storm. Oh, you yeah. know. So uh, you know, it's gonna be interesting uh, Halloween because we do a big thing at Halloween in my house because it's always been that way, and I, I expect there'll be a few of those coming to the door for candy. You know. So they should be coming to the door for votes, but you know they'll be coming to I the think door we're for candy. We're gonna see a lot of stray goats tied to gar oh, garbage yeah. cans and telephone poles. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, and then, well, as I told you before, we start taping. If all my all the parts that I'm trying to put together come in, I think mine's going to be the best. All right, very good. <laughs> um, that's probably a good time to stop here. Okay. Well, <laughs> well I just I, I just want to encourage people to go out and vote. Get out you know, and, 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 and don't Get out and you know it, it, you know it's something to do. It sounds funny, you know, writing these things in because we've had well, look, we've had Mickey Mouse in the past. We've had all kinds of things in the. You know, if you take the time to vote, before you even go vote, it doesn't matter who you vote for, but think about it at home. What is the impact of my vote on the future of Niagara Falls? You know? And, and, and vote with that in mind. If you want to do a protest vote, yeah, fine, okay. But uh, protest votes don't, don't really go anywhere, you know? I mean, it's, somebody's going to be there. Mm -hmm. That's the way we got to think. Somebody's going to be there. So you, you just need to, you just I don't know, you just need to take it seriously. Huh? All right. Thank you.